What's your most awkward sorry, but I don't work here experience. One time my best friend and I were in Walmart digging in the $5 movie bin. We're standing there looking through all these crappy movies hoping to find a gem when this random lady walks up and asks if we work there. I say, no mom, I'm sorry we don't, and we continue digging through the bin. Well, this wasn't good enough for this lady. She stands there and asks us something about finding volleyball equipment. I forget exactly what she was looking for specifically. I ask if she looked through the sporting goods, which she was standing right in front of and she says, well yes of course but I didn't see it. I thought you all would know where it would be. At this point my friend and I are both a little frustrated with the situation. So I tell her that we have no idea where else the volleyball equipment would be at in this store. I ask her if she had gone to Big 5 Sporting Goods store. This is when all heck broke loose. She raises her voice and starts yelling about how she wasn't going to spend that much money and ranting and raving about the cost difference and this and that. My friend and I just looked at each other and walked away. Not awkward but helpful. I notice every helper in this store was ignoring this elderly lady. I happened to be wearing the same color of shirt and she came up to me for help. I happily helped her and even helped her go up to the checkout lane. Tells me I'm a good employee and will write a nice letter to the company about me. A little backstory first. When I was about 11 years old I went with my family to the Philadelphia Zoo. It was about 80 degrees out and little me decided to wear a hoodie for some reason. Of course I get too hot to need to take it off, but I forgot to wear a shirt underneath. So my parents bought me a shirt that said Philadelphia Zoo on it. So my family and I are walking around the gift shop right before we are about to leave. Little me is checking out some sweet stuffed animals when a middle aged woman comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder. Excuse me. She says where can I find sunscreen I was kind of confused when she asked me. But I was happy to help since she asked politely. I quickly looked around and saw some non souvenirs behind the counter art. I'm. Um. Guessing you can find it at the counter over there. I said. Then this woman gave me a look like she wasn't sure if I was intelligent or not. So you're just guessing she says. The was she said it made me realize something was off, but I didn't make the connection. Remember, I am 11 freaking years old. Yeah. I mean, there are batteries and stuff back there so there should be sunscreen. Then she gave me a quick smile and said okay, thank you for your help. I didn't have a clue what had happened until I told my dad what happened as we were leaving. He started laughing and pointed out I was wearing the Philadelphia Zoo shirt and this broad thought I had worked there. Because every kid should be able to support themselves with a job by at least 11 years old, if not earlier. My first day of class someone thought I was a professor. I was only 20 and I didn't think I looked that old. You gotta stop wearing the sweaters with the elbow pads. I was on my break and decided to walk down the mall to the Bon, Macy's now. I was wandering around seeing what the sales were, when I was approached by one of those high and mighty, Rich B. She asked where something was, and I told her I did not work there. She got all huffy and stormed away. I went about my browsing. A few minutes later here she comes again, this time with an actual store employee in tow saying, that's her, that's the one that won't help me. The employee, actually a department manager, asked me why I was out of my department, and that I knew better than to not help a customer while approached. She then asked what department I was from. Finally a chance to speak. I replied, I sail shoes A, eh? where I was promptly interrupted, and give another tongue lashing, all the while Rich B is sitting there with a smirk on her face. Manager told me to get to the office and wait for her. I turned on my heel and walked away towards the exit doors instead. She catches up to me and loudly demands to know if I wanted fired, or if I was going to get to the office. I responded, I am going to my office. She said there were no officers in that direction and demanded I turn in my name tag and gather my things. I took my name badge off, handed it to while saying, I don't think my district manager is going to like you firing his top selling store manager from Kinney Shoes. She looked down at the name badge, and back up to me white as a sheet. Manager hands my badge back, mumbled an apology, and scurried away with her embarrassment and rich B. There is a lesson in this. Take your name badge off when you are on break and go to other stores. There is a lesson in this. Take your name badge off when you are on break and go to other stores. This. If she'd called your boss and told him how you were impersonating a Macy's employee, they'd probably have taken her word over yours. 
Fortunately she's clearly not that creative. While at my aunt's funeral, was wearing my black suite, hair was looking presentable but my shoes were two different sizes and brands. Apparently, I looked like I worked at that fernal home. Probably because I was standing off to the side because I only knew 3 out of the 50 people there including my aunt. Anyway, I was asked at least twice if I worked there where is this, by who else, family members I had never met. They thought it was funny after I told them. I still don't know who they are. I work at a KFC near a large shopping center, so after a shift, I decided to go shopping. Any shop I went into that is known for red colors. I was asked to help multiple people. Come on, can you not see the hat and flower all over my pants? I work as a mechanic and part of my job is to collect parts if our suppliers are busy. I was sent down to a wrecking yard to pick up a second hand transmission and because I was in my work overalls some guy asked me pretty rudely where all the rims are kept. I just rolled with it and said something pretty vague along the lines of not exactly sure. Out by the front fence I think. My answer clearly wasn't specific enough because I heard him mumble under his how hard can your job be. He must have felt like such a donghead when he joined the lineup right as I was paying for the trans and leaving. Honestly, I doubt he noticed if he was too oblivious to notice your uniform. I was in Normandy France at one of the landing beaches, and some American tourists thought I was a tour guide. Me being the kind of person I am, went along with it and started teaching them about the beach's history, and telling them good places to visit. I had only been there for an hour. But I did know the history rather well. I continued talking them through the landing and taking questions. Then the tour guide turned up. I just laughed and walked away. They thanked me in a confused manner. I don't think it dawned on them at that precise moment that I was a random man and not a tour guide. But I misread it and thought you said you were there during the Normandy's landings and thought to myself what in God's name were tourists doing there. And how on earth did you give them a tour lol silly me. Cool story though. This has happened to me more than once. When I was a paramedic, I had just finished my shift, and popped into the grocery store to grab something quick for dinner breakfast. Apparently an older woman's eyesight was off that day because she thought I worked there. Grocery store employees don't dress at all like a paramedic, but whatever. I helped her load a few frozen chickens into her cart. She thanks me profusely and wanted to get my name so she could tell my manager what a great employee I am. So I gave her the name and number of my supervisor. Next Monday, my supervisor calls me into his office and asked me to explain this voicemail. Hello, my name is old woman. I just wanted to say that you have one of the finest employees in the entire grocery store. He helped me load all the chickens I needed for my pod luck into my cart immediately and without hesitation. And he was so kind and generous with his time and blah blah blah. His voicemail actually cut her off. The message was so long. So she called back and left a second voicemail just to finish her praise. My supervisor just stared at me. I stared back. We never spoke of it again. I think he was of the opinion that I was moonlighting as some sort of grocery store chicken loading demigod. A couple years ago I was in the electronic department of Walmart helping my mom find a decent Blu-ray player to give to my grandma as a gift. When I was standing there looking at the options this older Asian woman asked me if I could help her find an mp3 player that she could buy for her daughter. It was around Christmas. I told her that I didn't work there and she said oh. Well you young guys know everything about these anyway my mother and I laughed and I changed her mind from getting a no name like 2 gig mp3 player to getting an actual ipod and I think I saved one kid from being kind of disappointed on Christmas. I was walking from the pharmacy in the back of the store towards the front. An old guy stops and asks where do you stock the mouthwash. I was about to say I don't work here. Then I figured it's Walgreens. It's like 7 short aisles. I could find mouthwash. Come with me. We found the mouthwash. I'm also awesome helping old ladies get products off the top shelf. So I'm trying on a pair of jeans at Hollister and it's a big sale so it's a crowded, smelly, teenage angst mess in the place. I exit the changing room and there's a ton of people waiting. And it's not a big changing room so it's super crowded. Worker is Mia so I go over to the shelf thing they put the clothes on you don't want and it's a mess. The thing was stacked high with clothes. 
Crap was falling off onto the floor and everywhere and I feel bad so I attempt tidy a bit but it's too far gone and not my job so I just fold the jeans I don't want and go to leave the dressing room when a grade. A dirt bag mother appears with her mini me carrying 10 plus jeans. This woman starts going on and on about how her daughter isn't a 2 or a 4. And why don't they make a size 3? And how come these jeans are ripped? This woman isn't giving me a chance to breathe but I clearly know she has mistaken me for an employee. I am a young tan somewhat surfer why? I just let her rant not really listening to her waiting to explain myself when she starts picking me apart. She starts saying they should hire workers who have brains that know how to actually help customers and don't just stand there to look pretty. She finally gives me a chance to speak but instead of telling her I don't work there I pretended I was super offended and said I quit her daughter looked all embarrassed and people were watching and you could tell she looked kind of bad so she started to apologize and I was just like no really I quit you can work here and you won't have to worry about looking pretty and Jay just walked away. Mine isn't exactly working in the traditional sense. Once while I was in college I was meeting a friend for lunch at Chipotle after class. Because of the way you order at Chipotle I figured it would be better to just wait outside for him to get there. His class ended up running a little long so I was just standing outside for a good 15 or 20 minutes. Eventually this urban looking fellow comes up to me from the bus stop across the street and asks, Hey man. You got any bags I can get off you at first I thought that was a strange question. Then I processed that he was looking for drugs. I just said sorry man. I can't help you and he went on his way. That was a strange experience to say the least. I had the opposite. One company. Three offices in various parts of the country. For a client event we were bussed out to a countryside retreat so that we could act as hosts. Mostly we'd be there to set things up. Stop them getting drunk and make sure they didn't run off with the silverware. As the only person going from my office, I get there 3 hours before the event is due to start and wander into the room we booked, which was filled with cardboard boxes and props being set up. I'm wearing my pre-event let's hang some decorations outfit and of course I ask where they want me to start. Someone comes over to me using with enthusiasm but guiding me to the door. She tells me all about dinner later on, about the hotel we're at, how nice it would be to take a long walk in the grounds or maybe hang out in the lounge for a few hours. I'm a little confused because they seem to be trying to get rid of me and I keep going yeah, but surely there's loads of work I can help with. It's only 10 minutes later when I'm clearly not leaving. She asks if I've brought a plus one. She thinks I'm a stray, early, jogging bottom clad client. Many years ago I worked as a day custodian at Disneyland, and it was red shirt day, which is was the unofficial gay day at the park. There was this poor guy there with his two little girls, and he had on a white, short sleeve button up shirt, and very light colored shorts, making him look like one of the day custodial staff. Day custodians wear white so that they'll be very visible in case any guest has questions. Well this guy was getting stopped and questioned left and right. I was working main street that day and I must have seen him get stopped 10 or 12 times in one pass up the street. I felt so bad for the guy that I took him to the main saint. Disney store and used my guest help card to get him a new shirt so he wouldn't get hassled. He bought a red Mickey shirt. I don't think he'd realized what the shirts meant on that particular day, but he seemed very happy with his purchase so I just smiled and told him to enjoy his day. Might not be super relevant, but I've been mistaken as a student at every school I've visited as an education major. I even got written up by a hall monitor for being out of class without permission and sent to the principal's office. Cockies. Red shirt. Target. Cockies. Red shirt. State farm. Whoa calm down there Jake from State Farm. That last time I went to visit my grandmother at her retirement home, she told me you already came and cleaned the kitchen but you forgot my laundry. She has dementia and doesn't form new memories. She thinks I'm 12 still. I am 27, comma. This stuff was supposed to make me giggle, but instead I'm sitting here praying my body goes before my mind. I'm a bit of a computer whisperer. Think, doctor, house, but with Dells instead of dudes. I'm getting rung up at the clothing store one day when the clerk starts button mashing. I ask him what's up and he said the thing was being difficult. I take a quick look at the box and notice the ethernet cable is unplugged and someone tripped over it. Pulling it away from the clusterfuck it was plugged into. 
I climb underneath the table and I'm in the process of threading it back up to the box when a manager comes over and says oh thank god you're here. One of the computers in the back won't start up. Once I get rung up I drop my bag in the car and head to the manager's office. Fix that PC. Field a couple more questions on my way out from various employees. And as I'm going to leave, a guy goes hey can we get your card. Corporate IT never responds to our emails. I say I'm not corporate IT and the look on the guy's face was priceless. And this was the start of the massive credit card theft that has been occurring in retail. This is not mine but a Peruvian kid I know. He was out at one of the local Indian restaurants for a curry and when he went up to go to the toilet a guy grabbed him and tried to give him his order. He wasn't wearing anything remotely like the waiting staff. The guy had just seen a brown person and assumed he worked there. Walked into the grocery store one day after my retail job, still in uniform. Old woman walks straight up to me at the entrance and begins screaming where is the flower you have on sale? The other girl sent Emmy down here and you don't have IT. This is false advertising I stare back at her and say I do not work here but looks like the big display of flower is right behind you. I was on break from my mall retail job, where we had to wear black dress slacks and a white button down shirt aka general weight staff retail dress code. I went into the mall's Nordstrom to do some window shopping until my break was over. Some older lady, I'd guess around 65-70, came up to me asking some question. I kind of laughed and explained that I didn't work there. She looked very confused and insisted I did as I was wearing the general retail dress code outfit. I pointed out that I was carrying around my purse, and if I did work there I wouldn't be perusing the store with my purse while on the clock. She followed me around for a bit insisting I worked at the store. I finally got fed up and told her off, which as a person working retail we never get to do. She was shocked, and said she was going to report me to management. I told her to go ahead and walked off. It felt good. My buds and I had just landed, hadn't changed out of our flight suits yet, when military pilots, as we walked through the hotel to get to our rooms, we accidentally passed through a wedding party, a pair of beautiful women stopped us and asked if we were the strippers, my buddy said, completely deadpan, we can be. During our lunch, a co-worker and I went into Sephora to check out some things, we both work at cosmetic counters in a department store, and I was still wearing my uniform green apron, looks nothing like Sephora's smock, I was trying on a lipstick when I noticed this older woman giving me the stink eye, I thought nothing of it and go find my co-worker, as I passed by this lady, I heard her mutter they should fire your ass under her breath, alright, I thought that was odd. I told my co-worker what was going on and that I was suspicious that the woman thought I worked there. We watched the woman get in line, looking pee and not holding any merchandise. Figured she was trying to complain about me. I ignore it and start trying on another product when the woman walks by and dramatically says oh there she goes again I almost lost it. I had no idea what this woman's issue was since she never actually approached me and asked for help. I firmly told her I didn't work there. Showed her my badge with my store's name on it, and all she did was laugh like she didn't believe me and walked away. Some people, man. I worked a job at Sears when I was in high school. We only had one car so my mom let me drop her off at work at Kroger and pick her back up at night after her shift. I arrived 20 minutes before the end of my mom's shift as cashier so I was just wandering down the frozen food aisle still dressed in my work clothes when this little old lady approached me looking for frozen pot pies. I didn't have the heart to tell her that I didn't work there so I just found her the pot pies and placed them in her cart then she proceeded to ask me where a bunch of other stuff was. I eventually had pretty much become this lady's personal shopper because most of what she wanted was on the top shelves and she couldn't reach. When she got to check out she took my mom's lane and she goes that young man that works here is a very kind man and a very hard worker you should give him a raise and my mom looked very confused she said mom there aren't any men working this. Evening there are only the ladies left to close up the store then I came walking up with a frozen pizza, tombstone of course, and the little old lady said this is the young man my mom chuckled and said that's my son and he doesn't even work here. And then my mom winked at me and of course the whole ride home talked about how she raised me well and blah blah blah. Overly proud mom stuff. 
My granddad essentially becomes a Home Depot employee every time he is in the store. He gives every customer individual attention and they even come back to him to ask more questions. But when the employees confront him he pretty much tells them to go away. He knows what he's doing. I was once walking around a store and this lady asked me where the frozen juice was. I was 12 at the time. I said, I am 12 years old. She didn't believe me and thought I was trying to get out of working. So I just took her to the cereal aisle and ran away. I didn't know frozen juice was a thing. So I was at Walmart once looking for a simple combination lock but couldn't find one. There's this guy in the typical blue Walmart polo messing with the stock of headphones. And I figure I should ask him to help me find the lock. I say, do you work here? He gives me a terrified look and replies with, number. I realized he had a pair of pliers and was stealing headphones. We gave each other a blank stare for a couple seconds and I proceeded to find the lock a couple aisles down. You have been visited by the safe driving doggo you will be blessed with safe driving for 100 years. But only when you comment, drive safe, doggo. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.